Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as many of you know, if you have been watching me for any length of time, I am a big fan of Molly Burks. And recently I have noticed on Twitter that the blind community is kind of going crazy over Molly Burke right now. In my opinion, not very nice things being said about her. And a lot of people seem to be putting her down for not being independent. And that seems to be the main complaint people in the blind community have of Molly Brown on Twitter is that she's not independent because she goes everywhere with her mom. I can kind of relate a little bit to some of her struggles and I, I'm not saying that I know anything about her personally or her situation. I've never met her. She has no idea who I am. And I just feel like I can relate to her in some ways. I also struggle with like my independence and possibly because I still live at home currently with my parents, people might say that I'm dependent on my parents. Huh? However, I feel like people are overlooking a few things when they are judging whether as a blind person you are independent or not. I think that everybody can have their own definition yeah. of what independent means to them. And for each situation and each individual case, I think you really have to examine it by itself in whole. I can understand that Molly lives at home with her family because she is kind of the breadwinner. And her mom has to go everywhere with her because her mom is her camera person. And as somebody who does social media, you want to record a lot of your life. And if your mom is your camera person, of course you are going to be going everywhere with your camera person because your camera person is going to be filming everything for you. So therefore they're going to be with you pretty much 24 seven, whether it's your mom or your friend or somebody else, it doesn't really matter. That person is going to be with you 99% of the time. And for me, it's a little different because I record everything on my own. I record on my iPhone and I have a little tripod. Maybe I'll make a video for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video of how I make each video. Yeah. But um, I do it completely on my own. There is a lot of times that I don't even like run it past somebody who has vision to know I, there are a lot of shorts and even in the early days, a lot of the long forms that I edited myself. And even still, I mean, there's, there's long forms that I have edited myself. So there's a good amount of videos that I have put out on the internet that never go to somebody who is sighted pre-upload <laughs> to YouTube. And I kind of can see a little bit to know if I'm centered correctly, but it's not always perfect and it's not always great. I definitely maybe could do it better if I had a camera person with me. I know it would be a lot easier at times if I had a camera person, but I don't. I don't have that kind of support system within my household. So it's just not something that is available to me. And because I don't make money doing this yet, it's not something I can afford to like hire a camera person to do it for me. So for me, my my YouTube videos are usually always done by me. A lot of the editing I do have sent out. So there is a point where the videos that I make are seen by a sighted person before it goes to film. I mean, before it goes to YouTube, but not always. There, there are a lot of videos that I edit on my own, especially shorts. A lot of my shorts are edited by me. So, at least currently. <laughs> so, um, I, I don't really have that availability to have a camera person with me all the time. However, I do live at home with my parents. I am visually impaired 
and I have a son and I am a single parent. And my parents helped me raise my son. They do let us have some independence where we have pretty much the whole upstairs mostly to ourselves. My dad has a study and my mom has a study upstairs. But for the most part, my son and I are upstairs by ourselves. I have my own room, my son has his own room, and we have like a little family room that we can be in ourselves, separate from my parents. We eat dinner in the family room upstairs. And yeah, most of our togetherness is away from my family. I mean, away from my parents. But that doesn't mean that every single part of my life is away from my parents. There's a lot that my parents help me out with. My parents are my caretakers for my son when I'm at work. So I go to work every day or five days a week. And when I go to work and my son comes home from school, my parents are here to take care of him. Also, my parents drive my myself and my son to our activities or my job so i don't have to worry about strangers taking care of my son and looking after him for me and that kind of gives me a little peace of mind because i always was afraid of somebody else that i didn't know or trust coming in and taking care of my son or possibly hurting him or there's a lot of scary things out there today, <laughs> kidnappings and whatnot. And those things are a little scary, but in just even the more realistic aspects of it, I didn't know that I wanted somebody that didn't have the same values that I aligned with watching my son. So for me, it's nice that I have my parents that can be the caretakers for me and it also is really nice that they are able to take us a lot of places. I do get Ubers and cars when I go some places, but I would say a good majority of the time, my parents take us places or pick us up or help us get places. They do take us a fair number of places. So, in those aspects, I am not independent. I do rely on my parents in some aspects to help me out with those things. But I would not say that that makes me dependent solely on my parents. My parents are a support system for me. They are people that help me out. And that to me is a really amazing thing to have. I don't look at it as I'm dependent. I look at it as I am, I have a really great support system. And for any blind or low vision person, I think it's very important to have a really good support system, whether it's your parents or your spouse or your family or whoever that is, you know, driving you around, helping you run errands, helping you do things that you need, you might need help with. It is really nice to have that support system. And not every blind or low vision person has the same needs. Whereas for me, I need help getting around places. I have a friend who is blind who gets around all on his own. Um, I have a friend who is blind who is a chef. And so he cooks even for like his friends that are sighted. He cooks for everybody and including himself. And I have blind friends that can't cook for themselves, don't know how to cook. And that is something that they need help with from their support system. I have blind friends that need help in other areas besides transportation or besides cooking. You know, everybody has a different circumstance, has a different situation. And because of that, nobody is the same. And because of that, I think that everybody's independence looks very different and individual to each person. And that is really all I wanted to say about it is that instead of judging Molly Burke for living with her parents and being with her mom everywhere she goes, I really hope that the blind community 
will look at her and see that she has some amazing strengths. She has built a career on her own for the most part. She has built a YouTube channel and makes lots of money off of her YouTube channel, which is solely her channel. Like it is not her family channel. It is not a family channel. It is her story, her blind adventure, her blind channel. And I think that that in itself is an amazing accomplishment. And I have to give her major kudos for that. And that is why I'm a fan of hers. I may not agree with everything she says, and I may not agree with everything she thinks or every attitude she has or every opinion she has, but I don't have to agree with everything she says to respect the journey that she has come from. And for me, that's what I hope that my community and my family here on my YouTube channel will see is that every blind person is different. We all have similarities, yes, but we all have different struggles also. And all of our struggles may look completely different to somebody else. And it's not fair as a blind community to judge somebody else's journey or their independence or anything. You shouldn't be judgmental. Instead, we should band together and support the people in the blind community that are working hard to be independent and to be a role model for others or to be a support for others or to help out others. And I think those are all aspects and qualities that Molly Burke possesses. And I hope that those are all aspects and qualities that my followers and my subscribers will also agree with that I am independent and I am valuable and I have things to share and that I can help people and support people in my own ways. And I hope that you guys will take away from this that every blind person is different and every situation is different, yeah. but it doesn't matter what somebody else's personal situation is. Their independence might look completely different from yours, but they still are independent. So that's all I wanted to say, and I hope that you guys can agree. If you do or if you don't, you can leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe and join the family because we really would love to have you and it helps out me and I just appreciate it so much. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And yeah, I hope you guys will join me for the next one. Love you guys.